Hey, good morning, everybody. Planner Palooza here. Um, I wanted to take a couple minutes and discuss something with everybody that um, I did last year. Um, I first of all, let me start out by saying I am a huge Erin Condren fan. So, with that being said, um, this is my second year of purchasing an Erin Condren life planner, and last year I opted to. Um, uncoil it and put it in my ring binder because I was used to using a ring binder and I loved it. It worked out great because my ring binder I use also as a wallet. It holds a lot of things. I can put notes in and cards and just decorate it and, and it holds a lot. So this year when I got my Erin Condren, um, I actually got the 18 month and I got it in August, I decided I was going to do my best to stay with the rings this year. And I was not going to uncoil it and punch holes in it and put it in my ring binder. So what did I do the beginning of February? Um, actually, towards the end of January and the whole month of February, I took those months out and punched holes in them and put them in my ring binder. And after about three days, I decided I hated it. So my beautiful ring binder um, that I have here <laughs> is now I have the pages back in, as you can see, and I have them clipped at the top to hold them in until I get to March when I can go back to my pages are attached with the coil. Unfortunately, these pages, I don't know if I'm gonna staple them maybe in or just take them out and save them for the end of the year or put them in the folder in the back, the little pouch. Um, but I, I have said to myself, I will never ever uncoil my Erin Condren again. I just, I have, I've accumulated a lot of covers that I love, a lot of holiday covers. I just ordered two um, covers two days ago, three days ago, one for St. Patrick's Day, one for just general time. Um, you know, I've got Halloween, I've got Christmas, I've got, um, you know, and they all have my planner palooza and they, they're just, I, I guess I just, I had to try to prove to myself that I needed to keep my Erin Condren in in my coils. And you know, there's so many, so many people out there now that that um, sell coil clips. You can get them directly from the company. And I did run across a hack the other day on YouTube where you can actually use um, hold on just a second, let me grab one. You can actually use these little tabs and make um, coil clips. So I'm going to try and do that and see how that works out. Um, cause that would be a really inexpensive way to make coil clips if they're good and they hold. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to share with everybody cause a lot of times people ask, um, you know, I do have a planner group on Facebook and it's called wishing for a planner. And it started out because someone, um, gifted me a planner, a ring planner, when I started out in the planning community. And so I created this group to kind of pass along the kindness. And so our group is, we do swaps and and we, new people that join that don't have planners, everybody gets together and, you know, sends stickers and, and pages and, and complete planners to people. Um, and, and we're a really great group. So it, let me put my little plug in there for my Facebook group. It's called Wishing for a Planner, and um, you can request to join. We would love to have you. We're a great group of people. Um, it's been up now for two years, and there's pretty much like a hundred of us that was there when I started it. So um, we, I've built a lot of really great relationships with that group. And we do a lot of really fun, great things, so just so you know. But anyway, I get a lot of questions from people, you know, 
how you've unquilled your planner last year. How did you do, you know, how did you like it? Blah, blah, blah. And I always told people I loved it. Now I'm going to be the opposite and say, do not unquill your Erin Condren. You know, if you are a ring binder person, then, then great. But get ring binder pages. You can print them off yourself. You can get them off of Etsy. You can buy them at the office supply. Buy those. Um, don't, don't, um, don't try to do what I did because if you're a true Erin Condren person, you're going to hate it. It takes off so much space on Wednesday and Thursday. Sorry about the light. One of my dogs has decided she wants to look outside and see if there's anything she wants to chase. Nice. Holly. It's my 110 pound German Shepherd and she was just outside chasing stuff. She's not going out again. But anyway, um, you know, you lose a lot of Wednesday and Thursday. It's hard to write on Wednesday and Thursday unless you take the pages out of the ring binder. And then you have to, you know, you've got, for in my case, I have seven holes. So there's seven holes where I can't put functional stickers and I can't put, you know, appointments, things that I use. I use a lot of functional stickers in my planner. And I cannot give up that real estate on my pages. I just can't do it. That's one of the things that bothered me the most. So, um, Holly, come here. Sorry, I've got to get her away from these blinds. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that information with everybody. Um, kind of answer some questions. If you are thinking about or you're on the fence or you have an Erin Condren, you're thinking about breaking it down and putting it into a ring binder you're kind of on the fence of which one you want, a coil or a ring binder. And, you know, Erin Condren's not the only coil binder out there. There's, um, what, the Plum Paper Planner. There's a lot of them. You can get it at Walmart, a ring binder. You know, so it, it, it doesn't matter. But it's just the fact that, in my opinion, I, I don't like it. I didn't like it this year. I loved it last year, I guess. I'm getting old and I'm stuck in my ways and I'm used to my ring binder and that's how I want it. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. I hope you have a great day and everyone stay blessed and I will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.